number three, Aaron Rodgers. All right, look, Coach, I love Aaron Rodgers' never-say-die attitude that we will make the playoffs. I'm not sitting, sitting on that bench mm. until we are eliminated mathematically. However, it could be a cost. It has stifled the development, potentially, or at least for the Packers, to see what Jordan Love is mm. made of against real NFL competition in real NFL situations in the games. And it could cost them $20 million, a $20 million mistake when they pick up his fifth-year option, presumably, this offseason. It will be worth it if you make the playoffs, Aaron. But you got to win out starting with Miami this weekend. And let's face it, Aaron hasn't played well this year. He has not been great by any stretch. He hasn't even been pretty good. All right, even in this two-game win streak, he's averaging 205 yards a game, thrown two touchdowns and one pick. That's not it. That's a half for the old Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. So, Aaron, you don't have to play great this weekend, but you got to win. At number two, another quarterback, Dak huh. Prescott. Is Dak Prescott a big-game quarterback or not? Is no. Dak Prescott capable of leading the Cowboys to a Super Bowl championship, if not this year, then in the future. We don't know. He struggled against really good teams. All right? And if you can't beat Gardner Minshew, how in the world are you going to beat the Eagles when they have Jalen Hurts? All right? And, and Dak is on the biggest make-mistake streak of his career. All right? This has been a guy that's been solid with the football, but now in the last four games, seven interceptions. 11 interceptions in nine games this season. It is time for Dak Prescott to step up. He's got to do it. Dak, mm. I think what you got to do is go back to what you used to be. Mm. I've always said you're a game manager with playmaking abilities. You take the cape off. Stop uh -huh. trying to be Superman. Get back to just mm. making plays, protecting uh -huh. the football. Uh -huh. I believe Drew, I got to tell you. <laughs> That sounded a little bit like an indictment. A little Not bit. Not so much of an inspiration. Well, it's sometimes tough luck. <laughs> okay. Sometimes <laughs> tough luck. All right. At number one, Nick, Nick, Nick might get mad at me for putting uh, him on two. Oh, your dark should have been MVP. should have been a Pro Bowl. All right, uh, not over. Not there's only three, and there's three great quarterbacks in the AFC that made it above him. But anyway, Tua, they play Green Bay, so something on this week's bud list will have to give. Huh. Tua or Aaron Rodgers will not live up to the bud list and deliver. Tua, you got to do it. All right, we know the last three weeks he has struggled. Nick, he, he did look great earlier in the season. He was in the MVP conversation earlier in the season, but no more. The last three ah. weeks he's been bad. He hasn't even completed 50% of his passes. I know he looked pretty good in the snow in Buffalo. I'll give him credit for that. But Tua, you have got to deliver a win. Your team's on a three-game win streak, losing streak, and you could miss the playoffs. And here's the other thing. This season, we all know, was about let's see what Tua's made of. Let's see if he is our quarterback of the future. It was a referendum on Tua. We got him a, maybe the best receiving tandem in the league. We improved the offensive line. We got a hot new offensive head coach who believes in him. We want to see him deliver. If they miss the playoffs, mm. with all of that they've done for be Tua, the Miami Dolphins might coach be in the quarterback wow. uh, hunt this offseason. So, Tua, I think you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Go ahead and get it done, my man. <laughs> That's yes. the bud list. That, that, that is, list. That is a, a very good list, but I think you're, you're talking about two guys that are made men. you got another guy who's with two who's got a, a, good, a really good body of work this year. So I don't think he's in as much duress as, as who I'm going to talk about, and that's Zach Wilson, who's, who's, fighting yeah. for, who's fighting really for his career at this point. And he's got a second chance, and he's lucky to get a second chance because of Mike White's injury. And he showed some signs of life last game. There are some positive things that he did but he can't make the plays to lose the game. And I want to show you a play from the last game that, that if, this, if, if we see this again tonight, it's going to be a huge problem. So what's happened here is they're just going to run a flat post combination, but it's going to be based off a of hard sell play action. All Detroit's doing is playing a cover three defense. They're anticipating the run. They've got a three deep safety, three deep corners. Really good job here. This is what I'm talking about with the hard sell play action. You give the defense what it wants. You're showing the ball. We're going to hand the ball off. 
and now they're going to pull the backside guard. Everything is to set up the the oh, the middle part of the field. The middle part of the field, they want to get these linebackers to pull up for the run. You can see they all came up anticipating run. Here's the void that's there. You can see Garrett, Garrett Wilson is going to go right into that void. Zach Wilson is looking over to him. Everything is clean. Look at the amount of space right. that he has. Look at this window back. because the linebackers got sucked up so much. And you've got a three deep corner. You've got a cover three corner just sitting back there. And for some reason, instead of throwing into that space, he's going to lob the ball up to a corner that isn't going to bite on the post route. That's not what he does. And it, it's borderline like he's fair catching a punt on this interception. Now he runs it back. It ends up being three points. Three points is the difference in the game. You, you cannot make mistakes like that, especially mm. where he is right now, and expect the Jets not to, to move on from you. Nicely done, Coach. Back in the day when we had five people on the bud list before Wild said, Cruz getting too much shine. <laughs> Cut it to three. <laughs> Zach would have been on there, so blame Wild. Does the, does the game have five? <laughs> yeah, the, he, he, the home game has five. He did that to get back okay. in my right. uh, <laughs> the game. That was that was really well done, Coach. And in fact, I was going to do that exact same tape breakdown. Yeah. With Coach. <laughs> I'm sorry. So instead, I'm I'm first. Draymond Green to the bud list. Uh, old Mr. What? Triple Single oh. is living up to his name the way I live up to Mr. Consistency. Each and every night, you can rely exactly on exactly right. Fourteen triple oh. singles. Wow. For the alleged greatest defensive player in the history of the league, who right now is the anchor of, let me check, the 24th ranked defense in all of basketball. He's 32 years old and reports are slightly perturbed he hasn't gotten a new contract. Mm. But right now, he's not showing that he's earning his $26 million this year and he has a $28 million player option next year. On top of it all, Brew... He has abandoned his loyal listeners in the podcasting yeah, realm as he has yet to post a new, he's posted one episode post punch <laughs> and it was an interview with De'Aaron Fox that ran 22 minutes and did not address the punch. So I'm not sure if Draymond's in contract negotiations for a new podcast deal or just simply has run out of media critiques to give. But I know this much, right now the Warriors last night looked like a G League team with a veteran that was playing with them for reasons who couldn't quite figure out. Coach was there. He made some witty observations about Draymond's lack of defensive intensity. We can discuss those more after the show. <laughs> but I would, Brew, you have obviously a lot invested in the Warriors because you picked them to win the championship. And right now they are the, let me check, worst road team in the league and one of the worst defending champions ever and wouldn't even make the playoffs. So it's one thing to get a championship pick wrong. But it's another thing to get, you know, have them miss the postseason entirely. <laughs> My question for you is, can you inspire Draymond into being able to keep them afloat without Steph Curry? And if he can't, what does it say about future Hall of Famer Draymond Green if when the Splash Brothers aren't there, he loses all of his superpowers? He can't. And what it says is this. Draymond Green was perfect for the Golden State Warriors when they're home. He is a great fit. Had he been drafted elsewhere, played with a different team in a different system, he would not be a future Hall of Famer. He's, nope. There have been other players like that, and he is one of them. So when his boys get back, Steph, Wiggins, Clay Fully, Draymond will be back, and he'll do his thing. Okay, I would like to add Jacoby Myers and Matt Patricia to the butt list. And I know you're thinking, why? It's like, well, because they're responsible for the worst play in NFL history. That's why. It's not that high of a bar to get on the bud list. And if you have the worst play ever, you get on. And I know we give Coach a lot of credit because he just diagrammed a play. But you know what, Coach? You're not the only coordinator on this set. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be <laughs> offensive coordinator for the flag football team. And I ground the all 22. And I said, you know what? How can I solve this crisis of confidence that Jacoby Myers is going to have coming with the whole world kind of yelling at him. Here's what I came up with, Coach. Yeah. We throw another pass. We go right into something that Cincinnati is not expecting. <laughs> oh, maybe a little Philly special. But Jacoby Myers gets out there and says, you know what, everyone mocked you for throwing the ball to Mac Jones. But guess what? We're leaning into it. We're going to do it again. First play, maybe first play, at least first half, Coach, we go out. And we throw the, have Jacoby Myers throw the ball. Everyone's excited. Fox War explodes. Cincinnati's not paying attention. And all is well. Brew, 
Can I ask Coach his opinion yes, on it first definitely. before he? I, I think it's I think it's a list. good philosophy. When you do something really terrible, you should probably repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better I think, glad you asked Coach his opinion of that. Yeah, edit that out. Let's just go right to Bro. Bro, what was your take on that idea? I was gonna say it was a good idea, but after that, uh, I'm zipping the lip. I'm going with Coach. Oh, okay. You know, know what? Can't do it. At home, you know, just a quick reminder. At home, that is a great suggestion. That